If the space between the back of the front driver or passenger seat and the vehicle seat back is a concern for you and your car, recline is one of the most critical factors that you need to consider when choosing a car seat. I'm gonna walk you through what you need to know in this video. There are lots of factors to consider when choosing the best car seat for your family. There are two specifically I wanna talk about here. One is if you plan to purchase a car seat that likely is gonna grow with your family, meaning that over time, you may use this car seat for one child and then pass it down to another, you're gonna to wanna to think about that before you buy the first one. I know it's a lot, I'm gonna help you with all of it. The second thing is recline. We know that a car seat has to be at a proper recline angle to best protect our children in a car crash. It's also critically important for our babies without neck control because a properly reclined seat keeps their head back and their airway open. In order to get that proper recline, we need to have enough space between the vehicle seat back, either on the driver or passenger side, and the vehicle seat back that the seat is actually gonna sit on. If that front to back space that we're talking about is a critical factor for you, looking for a seat that has multiple recline options and a wide recline range is gonna be really critically important. Let me show you. This is the Graco Extend the Fit. We've got a ton of recline options here, but watch how much front to back space this takes up when I have it fully reclined. I can't even get it totally in. I'm gonna have to move the passenger seat up a little bit. So that's a factor to consider too, right? Who's gonna be riding in this seat and how much space do they need to be able to ride safely? I don't know about comfortably because we may have to, you know, sacrifice some comfort when we have our kiddos in the back, but it's definitely a combination that you wanna consider. So let's go back here. I wanna triple check that I have this fully reclined and I do. And so that's in its most reclined position. And by the way, this position is what's gonna be required for a newborn baby if you start with this seat from the get-go. Super reclined, this is the range that I'm talking about when I say you've got a lot of recline options that we use with that lever, right? To have it sort of rock all the way back. And then it also has this huge range here. So we've got multiple options when we wanna start making the seat a little bit more upright. We do that as our kiddos grow and they gain that neck control. So let's watch the difference here. I'm actually gonna grab my tripod because I wanna put a placeholder there. Here it is. <laughs> this is my fancy way of, uh, we're gonna put a, like a placeholder here so I can show you the difference. All right, so I'm gonna use this tripod to sort of mark the spot. So we can see that there's very limited space between the front passenger seat and the tripod. And just for, you know, accuracy, I'm actually gonna move the front passenger seat all the way up. I feel like I'm like in a science experiment. We gotta use a plot chart or something. Hold on. Let's move this all the way up so we can like get the same dimensions for the various seats that I'm gonna show you. Just notice as I'm moving this all the way up, like no human passenger can sit here. Like there's no leg room here. This would be a terribly unsafe seating position for this passenger. So don't do that. Okay, but you can see that now we've got, you know, obviously a good amount of front to back space here. But again, if that passenger were sitting safely, that seat would be much further back. Now let me show you what happens without knocking the tripod over. I'm gonna put this seat now in its totally upright position that's allowed in rear facing mode, which is here. And look at the difference. You see how many more inches we gained from being able to put that seat up in a more upright position. So if that space is critically important to you, I want you to look when you purchase a seat for a car seat that has these multiple recline options and that also has a really wide range that that recline is allowed to be in when your kiddo has that full neck control. Because a child can sit like this in this car seat, again, as long as they're outside of that zero to three month range, we would slowly start to move them upright. That's a huge difference, right? 
By contrast, this is a seat that only has one recline position. It actually has a footer on the bottom. So you pop that footer out in rear facing mode and it doesn't have a lot of that whole range that we saw on the other car seat. Instead, it just has a level line. So we have to be parallel to the ground according to this level line to get the proper recline. So what does that mean for front to back space? Well, I left our tripod where it was this was when the previous seat with multiple recline options and a large range of recline was fully reclined. Now, one thing I didn't share with you is that don't forget these headrests, they're gonna go up too. So we also have to take into account how that space makes things a little bit tighter as well. Let's put that down, just keep that in mind. So you can see for this seat, no range of recline, one recline ability, we're, we're about an inch maybe two, two inches or so away from where that tripod was on the fully extended seat before it. Make sense? You can see that sometimes those two to three to four inches can be the difference between a passenger riding safely and not. Just for a side-by-side -side comparison, I want you to notice how the seat in the back, which has a wide recline range and lots of recline options, that's in its fully upright position. Now these car seats aren't installed, so they would be in a little bit more when they're fully and tightly installed. But just to give you the general idea of the footprint, that one's fully upright. This one, which in contrast to that one, has one recline option and just a line, so no range. This is, this is the best you're gonna get for this seat ever when it's in rear facing mode. That driver seating position is not optional. We've got to make sure our driver is in the absolute safest position to ride. We cannot compromise their safety or their comfort. Passenger, we may be able to compromise comfort a little bit, but this is definitely something to consider when you're choosing that convertible car seat. Here's the other reason to think about if a compact seat is something that you need to consider when purchasing your next stage seat. If you are planning on expanding your family, remember that the infant seat, we've got to get it reclined. Newborn babies cannot hold their heads up, so we've got to help them keep their head back and their airway open by achieving that proper recline. It's obviously required for crash protection as well, but our infant seats are always going to take up a larger footprint because they have to be more reclined. When you move into the convertible stage seat, while that seat can be more reclined, and some may choose to do that for comfort or preference, it also can be more compact. So when you're thinking about two car seats in your car and having to shift things around, if getting a seat behind the driver is something that you're gonna either want to do with just one car seat or have to do when you have two kids in car seats, think about that compact factor when you're buying. While you can't do what I'm doing and test every car seat and every vehicle configuration, what you can do is pay attention to those two factors of recline. If getting a seat that's compact is gonna be really important to you now or in the future, that wide recline range and the multiple recline setting options. If you need help with how to choose the very best car seat for you, our car seat buying kits are where it's at. They're the single greatest resource on the market to choose a car seat. I hope you found this video helpful. Like it if you did, make sure you subscribe to the page and I'll see you in the next one.